agent of beauty has created these amazing essential oils called happiness oil and sexy oil. I am in love with both of the oils because of not only knowing about the essential oils that Azra has infused into happiness and sexy, but also just because of the positive energy that Azra brings to everything that she does. This is Corey Rashawn, and I'm here with Aja at Traveria. How are you doing? I am doing very well. Thank okay. you. Okay. Fantastic. Fantastic. I like to kind of start off all my interviews with asking, who are you? Define yourself. Mm. Well, I'm a lot of things, and I do a lot of things. And um, right now, I am a healing artist. I'm a makeup artist. I I create um, and perform services that allow people to feel good and feel better and love themselves. So I do that through my craft as a makeup artist, through my craft as a healing artist. I create healing jewelry and healing oils, and I'm... I'm just doing me and and crafting a, a means of making a living at, at, at all of those things. Okay. Is your history mostly in uh, makeup, like your background? Well, I've been doing that for over 26 years in some way, shape, or form. Um, I've always been involved in some creative aspect, um, and I was raised to – understand that life in in and of itself is art so everything I do from cooking to um, furnishing my home to um, choosing an outfit is based on a certain um, aesthetic um, energy that I've always had you have a company called agents of beauty yes and how did that get started and when did that get started well, uh, Agent to Beauty is a culmination of everything I've ever been or done, and it really uh, kind of just came into being. I kind of stumbled upon it um, back in 2013, um, officially. I headed off to this uh uh, women in Business Conference in Westchester, New York, and I was just excited about this uh, opportunity to, you know, come in contact with other women who were um, desiring um, the ability to create a an abundant, prosperous life out of doing what they love and, and their gift. And so um, just went with an open heart and an open mind. And um, at the time, I was calling my business Aja Intuition because I had come to understand that I use my intuition in everything that I do, especially as it relates to my craft. And um, so I'm in the line at uh, lunch, and I'm talking with a woman, and, um, you know, like women do at these events, just strike up conversations with strangers. And she asked about what I was doing in the name of my company and my name, you know, which is quite unique, uh, considering that it's spelled nothing like it's pronounced. <laughs> uh, so I was telling her about this workshop that I was in the midst of planning, and um, and she said, wow, that name, Agent Beauty. She, she stood there, and she must have said it about 10 times, and I'm like, oh, wow. okay. <laughs> so I let her process this uh, information, and she said, she said, Agent Beauty, agentofbeauty.com, Agent Beauty products, Agent of Beauty. And she's like, that's the name of your business. And I said, right. it is? And she said, yeah. And I said, okay. While we're sitting in the middle of a, comp of a um, presenter at this luncheon, I went on to my Instagram and I changed. Um, actually, I created a new Instagram because I attended a uh, using Instagram and business workshop uh, at that mm -hmm. conference. And that also changed the direction of my path because um, I learned so much about using 
Instagram specifically as a medium for capturing and cultivating your niche. That's one of the main components um, in utilizing Instagram is developing a niche. So right. that is really when this all kind of snapped and the synapses kind of began to happen more quickly and for me to have the clarity to really have the vision to see what I was doing and it made sense for me like I always knew it but it made sense and it was translatable to the audience and it requires uh, for the for the best way to receive the information as a viewer it requires telling the story through the images and through the words and through the videos that are posted through my business and through being a makeup artist uh, that we get better as we get older. That's the main component of age into beauty and the age into beauty um, Instagram or story in general. That's right. the main uh, flow of information. I know you talk about perfection and how beauty is used to perfect a person's look, but you want to uh, kind of use uh, makeup for a different reason. Yes, and uh, perfect timing to discuss one of my all-time favorite words, which is transformation. One of the, my most um, fascinating components of makeup is the ability to use it as a tool to transform. And, uh, and you, so you can, on a, on a very basic level for many women or people in general, makeup is right. used as a means to feel good. Let's talk about the prayer necklaces. I have two, um, and they're beautiful pieces. How did that get started, and why are they called prayer necklaces? Okay, uh, wonderful question. Let me tell you the story. So um, I only started making this line of wearable art called Black Punk um, in hmm, March. Yeah, and due to the uh, brilliance of another uh, wonderful sister friend, her name is Kimberly Cannon. She's a uh, wonderful artist and person and entertainer, and uh, she's been creating a life for herself as an artist for many, many years. As I, uh, you know, was around her, this uh, I was inspired to begin to create uh, pieces for myself. In fact, what I always say about her is that she is she will actually show you how to do what she's doing because she has this complete confidence and awareness that no two people can create the same thing. You simply cannot. You, it's impossible. So she has right. this openness to show you how to do things, and so that it's that openness that kind of led me to begin to create. Um, jewelry out of recycled fabric. So I had begun doing that and um, showcasing my work at pop-up shops that she she hosted. And mm -hmm. she said, well, oh, wait until you start making pocketbooks or wait until you start working with silk because I originally started working with T-shirts, T-shirt material, right. T-shirts, vintage T-shirts, recycled T-shirts. And so one day I'm like, silk, huh? Wait till I start working with silk. Okay, let me see what I have. I used to actually sell vintage clothing and be a vintage clothing dealer. So I have, you know, pieces, scarves, dresses, blouses that just have been hanging in my closet. And um, I've always, uh, since I can remember, been someone to utilize the source within me to be resourceful. So that's exactly what that was about. I took the... Uh, blouses and scarves. I cut them and shredded them and ripped them up into strips. And one day there was a week that I was I created three days straight. I didn't leave the house. I didn't. Um, I maybe took a shower once in those three days. I um, I was very very focused. And wow. toward wow. the tail end of that phase of creation, I kind of felt worn out. You know, very down to my last, uh, you know, vapors of energy. And so I just took this one long thread, uh, thread or strip of silk, and I just started knotting it again and again and again and again. And as I did that, I felt I began to feel better. Mm. And I think it was the repetition. I think it's what a lot of people get out of crocheting or needling or, um, you know, embroidering or beading. It's healing. It's healing work. And um, 
Tim actually stopped by that day, and I had put the piece that I created down on the table and moved on to the next, or I don't know, got up to get a glass of water or stretch myself, and she said, she picked it up, and she said, what's this? And I said, oh, I don't know. I just, uh, it's just something I just did. She said, this is, reminds me of a mala or a rosary. It's like a, it's like prayer beads. Right, right. And I picked wow. it up and looked at it again and saw it from a completely new light. And I said, you are exactly right. And she said, you need to make, keep making them and you need to never stop making them. They possess a lot of energy and that's how the prayer necklaces were created i make them sometimes so that they're unconnected in other words it's it's a very long string of the knot so you can tie it in your hair you can tie it around your waist you can tie it around your foot you can hang it on your wall with a piece of art it truly is a, a healing wearable piece of art so where where do you see yourself um, in the next five years, where where would you like to take Agents of Beauty, or where does Aja want to go in life? Well, um, I definitely see a constant expansion as it relates to my uh, understanding of myself and my business and my products, which means, um, you know, there will be a uh, an increase of production of uh, the happiness oil and the uh, um, black punk wearable art um, and the prayer necklaces, mm. as well as uh, more exposure through other media outlets, through, um, you know, talk shows, um, magazine articles, magazine covers. I was fortunate enough to uh, grace uh, the cover of um local online magazine and that was a wonderful experience and so I see more of that I see um, workshops and talks and conversations Um, I see actually beginning a uh, meditation class so I'd love to see uh, you know the growth of my community um, meditation um, events and um, just and things that I have beyond my wildest dreams. There's just so right. much ahead. Aja, you're doing such great work, such great work. I can um, I just can't wait to see what comes out of you next. Um, so where can people find you? Well, I can be found on Instagram uh, at Age Into Beauty. I can be found uh, on my Facebook like page, which is called Age Into Beauty. Um, my presence on Twitter exists, um, although I need to, I feel as if uh, there's a voice there that um, I could contribute to, uh, so that I'll be getting to that. And that's um, at Age Into Beauty on Twitter. And I'm also uh, really hoping to develop my uh, presence on YouTube. Um, and that's um, that's forthcoming, so we'll keep you posted about that. And you can also go to um, my continually uh, in progress uh, website. Right now, it's a landing page for which you can sign up for uh, email notifications and uh, future blog posts. So um, that's www.ageintobeauty.com. Aja, thank you. Thank you very much for uh, talking with me. And uh, like I said, I look forward to a lot of things coming from you. Likewise, and thank you. Thank you for this opportunity, Corey. You're welcome.